Welcome to Game Time Creation and another tutorial. Before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Game Time Crochet. So let's begin. We're going to start off with our tools here. I have this Red Heart Super Saver. It is a, I'm trying to see the color here. Why can't I find the color? Okay, it is a light jasmine. Um, purple is my favorite color. I don't care what shade it is. And it calls for a 5.5 millimeter hook. But we're going to use a 5 millimeter hook, some stitch markers, a darning needle, and of course some scissors, and your measuring tape. So, let's go ahead and start. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and measure your waist. And my waist is a 36, so I am going to make 106 chains. If you are a beginner and you do not know how to crochet or chain, I do have a beginner's tutorial where it will teach you how to slip, slip, make a slip knot, chain, double crochet, all the basic stitches that you need. It's nice and slow, and I have abbreviations. So I'm going to show you how to make your chain linked together without it um, twisting. So make about 10 chains, put your hook into that bottom loop there, and then put that hook, the loop that you took your hook out of, and put that back onto your hook and continue on. So I'm going to make 106 chains and I'll be back. Okay, so I have my 106 chains. Just make sure that everything is nice and straight. If you did it correctly, it should be nice and straight without any twisting. So now take that first loop, that loop that sits on the hook, and pull it through that first loop and chain two. So now because we need an uneven number of chains, you're going to go skip the first chain that you slip stitch into and go into the next chain with a double crochet. So for the next few rows, it's pretty simple. You're just going to make some double crochets going around. I am going to make a few double crochets, and I'm going to meet you back when I get closer to the first stitch of the row. So before I continue making my rows, I just wanted to show you what to do when you get to the end of your row. In that chain 2 space, you're just going to slip stitch into that top chain and chain 2. That chain does not count as a double crochet. And just go right into the rest of your chain, your, your stitches, your double crochets with a double crochet. You're going to make this as wide as you want it to be. This is your waist portion. So if you want it to be high waisted, you'll make a lot of rows. If you want it to be kind of short, you just make less rows. So when I come back, I'm going to have the amount of rows that I want for my shorts. I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm back at the end of the row, and I'm going to slip stitch into this top chain here. When you make your slip stitch, go ahead and chain two. So now, we're going to head, and I put a stitch marker on this side here. What I did was I divided my stitches by half. So I had 105 stitches, and I divided that by 2. That gives me 52.5, which is actually 53, which is where you want to put your stitch marker. So I put my stitch marker in that 53rd place. We're at the point where you want to, we're going to increase. Now, I didn't put a stitch marker in this beginning stitch because I know that this is the very first stitch of the row. So I just put it on the side. So now we're going to begin working on the hips area, and we're going to increase. I needed to increase by three, by two times I needed to increase. So I'm going to start my increase in this first stitch here. 
So once I chain two, I'm going to go into my first double crochet with two double crochets. And this is my first increase. There's one and two. And now just go all the way across with some double crochets until you get to your stitch marker. And once you get to your stitch marker, go ahead and add another two double crochets. So I'm going to continue on and then I will meet you right before the stitch marker. Okay, so now I'm at the stitch marker. Go ahead and remove your stitch marker and add two double crochets to this one stitch here. And then make sure that you put your stitch marker back into that first stitch. We will be doing some more dividing, but for now we're just increasing. So now just continue making your double crochets all the way across and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so once again, we're at the end of the row and we're going to slip stitch into the first chain, the top chain of those two chains. For my beginners, uh, my new subscribers, I only chain two for a double crochet, even though the standard is three. But since this is my pattern, I will chain two. So once you've made your chain two, now you're just going to make one double crochet going all the way around. When you get back to the end, you should have 107 double crochets because remember, we increased twice in this. So I'm going to make my double crochets going all the way across. Remember, your chain does not count as a double crochet. And I will meet you back at the end. Remember that once you get to that stitch marker, you want to make um, one double crochet. We're not increasing again. We're just making one row of double crochets. Make sure you, when you make that double crochet to put your stitch marker back into that double crochet stitch so that you remember as close as possible to that increase. So right there is where you're going to put that stitch marker. It lines up with that increase. I'll be back. Okay, so now we're back at the end of the row, back into that stitch with a slip stitch into your chain and chain two. Now we're going to do another row of increasing. This will be my last increase for this. We're going to increase in the beginning and then we're going to increase again when we get to that middle section where that stitch marker is. So again, just chain two and go right into that first stitch with two double crochets. And then the rest of the way, make one double crochet into each of those stitches until you get to your stitch marker. When you get to your stitch marker, make another two double crochets. Remember to put your stitch marker back into that space and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm at the end of the row of my second increase and I'm going into that top stitch again with a slip stitch. Once you've made your slip stitch, go ahead and chain two, and we will no longer be um, increasing. Okay, so I'm back at the end of the row, and now we're going to get into changing up our stitches here. Still, that double crochet, that chain two does not count as a double crochet. I want you to go in and make 10 double crochets across. We're going to be incorporating the mesh stitch in here. So I'm going to make my 10 double crochets here and then I'm going to show you what to do from there once I get to that 10 space. And which is very, very simple. Um, the weave stitch is a, I'm sorry, it's called the mesh stitch. It's not the weave stitch. It's an easy, easy stitch. So once you've made your 10 double crochets, I want you to chain two skip one and go into the next stitch with a double crochet. Now the reason that I chain two is because I like for it to have, it has more of a square in there. And a lot of the times when you chain one, it kind of scrunches in, making it look like you did a decrease. So I like this chain two. It makes it nice and wide and it does not compromise your pattern at all. So once you've done that double crochet, once you've made your mesh stitch, do not chain, continue on making another 10 double crochets going across and just like we did before when we get your to your 10th double crochet 
and you put your 10th double crochet in, go ahead and chain two, skip one, and go into your next stitch. And that is your pattern across. Once you've made your double crochet, you don't have to chain. Go ahead and make nine more double crochets, chain two, skip one, and then go into the next one with double crochet. And just continue that on, and I'll be back. Okay, so now we're at the middle section right where that stitch marker is where we made our second increase. And you're just going to do that again. Chain two, skip one, and go into the next stitch with a double crochet. And there's your weave stitch. I'm sorry, your mess stitch. Then just put your double crochet up, put your stitch marker right back into that chain two space there, and keep going. And I will be back. Remember, after that, make your 10 double crochets. Chain two, skip one, go into the next stitch with a double crochet. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm at the end of the row. I'm slip stitching into that second chain from the top and chaining two. Now we're going to continue again with our mess stitch. But instead of making 10 double crochets, we're going to go right into that mess stitch with a double crochet. I'm going to show you because I want my mess stitches to go in a, at, a, at an angle diagonally. So I'm going to make these first double crochets here. And then when I get to that mess stitch, I'm going to make a double crochet into that mess stitch there. Now you can make these boxes however you want to make them, make your mess stitch however you want it to flow. It's a pretty easy stitch to manipulate. So now we're at that mess stitch and I'm going to put a double crochet into that mess stitch there. And right next to it there is a double crochet space right there. So put your double, make sure you put your double crochet in there. And then one more double crochet and then chain two. So I think I did 11, 12, 13 before I went ahead and chain two, skip one, and go into the next stitch with a double crochet. Now as you go along, these numbers of boxes will change. That is why I'm telling you where to put your double crochet. After you put your double crochet into that mess stitch because this count is going to change as you go along. So now I'm making some more double crochets here and I'm getting closer to my box for my mess stitch. Two more double crochets here and then one double crochet inside of that mess stitch. Try to be as neat as possible. Don't forget that little stitch right along the side and just keep doing that. Once you've made that one double crochet into your mess stitch and then another two double crochets, you're going to chain two, skip one, and then go into the next stitch with a double crochet and just keep repeating that all the way across. If you get lost, go ahead and rewind and slow it down a little bit, but if you keep it up, I'll be right back right when I get to that stitch marker. Okay, so now I'm at the stitch marker. I'm going to remove it. Go ahead and make my double crochet in there. Put that stitch marker back. And then add my double crochet here. And then another one right next to it in the next stitch. And then now chain two. And then continue on with your pattern. Skip one. And go into the next stitch with a double crochet. And again, if you get lost, go ahead and turn it back. But I'm going to keep going and I will be back. Okay, so now I'm at the end of my row. And I'm just going to show you what that looks like. They're going diagonally. They're coming out really nice. So now I've already slip stitched into my chain and chain two. So now continue on with your pattern. This is going to be the last time I'm making this pattern. Make your double crochets across until you get to that mesh stitch. 
and just do the same thing that you did in the first row. So I'm going to keep going until I get closer and I am closer. <laughs> it switched up for me. Okay. So just like we did before, make your double crochets. I'm going to make one more before that mess stitch. Go into that mess stitch. Go into that next double crochet with a double crochet. And one more into the next one. And now chain two. And then skip one. And one double crochet into the next stitch. And then nine more across. So you're basically just repeating the first two rows. Or rather the second row. If you want to do it that way. And just continue across past that stitch marker. And I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row. And I'm going again. Slip stitch into that top chain. And then chain two. So now basically all we're working on is going further down. You want to go as far down as you need to. To get to the area where we can make our legs safely. If you want to continue with your pattern with the mess stitch. You can go ahead and continue that if you want to. But now we're going to begin. I'm going to make a few more rows until I get to the point that I need to. Where we can start making our legs for the shorts so i'm going to make some rows of double crochets when you're going around and you go into your message you just make one double crochet into your message and continue on i made a bit of a booboo here i did not chain two but it's all good because it's going to get covered up by that double crochet so keep making your double crochets all the way around as i'm showing you here once you get to that message just go ahead and put in your double crochet and don't forget that double crochet right next to it. So I'm going to keep making my double crochets and I will be back with the amount of rows that I need so we can make our legs for our shorts. Okay, so I have eight rows of double crochets. You should have 109 double crochets going around. You want to divide that by two. That should give you 50. 4.5. I'm actually putting the stitch marker wrong here, but I'll realize that. You want to put your stitch marker on the other end of your project. So because that that adds up to 55. That adds up to 55. So right where that blue stitch marker is, is where you put that in your 55th stitch. Now once you've put that in there, you want to divide by 55 again, and that's going to give us the leg portions. So, I'm about to grab my paper here again in a second. So now, 55 divided by 2 is 27.5. You want to put your stitch marker in the 28th place, which is right here, and you want to do that on both sides. And to make sure you're doing that, Count from that stitch marker all the way in. And then once you get to your place for your stitch marker, put your stitch marker in and do the same thing on the other side. You can count to count from that first stitch on the other side of your first where that stitch marker is to get to your middle section there. So now I have an even amount on each side for my legs. And now let's go ahead and begin double crocheting into here going around and if you want to make sure just go ahead and double and count again just to make sure that you have that stitch marker in the correct place and it is so i'll be back so we can get started with the legs okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to remove my yarn i'm going to snip off here and the reason i'm doing that is because i want my leg portion when I begin double crocheting I want that to start in the middle section right where I have that stitch marker so right where that stitch marker is you want to go into that stitch I did not do that please put your stitch marker your hook into the stitch where your stitch marker is let me just fix that real quick and I'll be back Okay, so now I'm in the right stitch. Now when you've made your stitch, go ahead and chain two and add a double crochet to that stitch. Remember, your chain does not count as a double crochet. So now you can remove that stitch marker that's on the side 
because that was our first place, the first double crochet of the row, but I don't want that to be that anymore. So I'm going to remove that stitch marker and I'm just going to keep going around with my double crochets. Now in this section here, we're going to change it up a little bit so that we can work on the crotch portion. So when I come back, I think I'm actually going to be at the stitch marker, at that blue stitch marker, and I'll show you what to do from there. I just want to show you really quickly, quickly, blur. <laughs> this is where that double crochet was, where that first chain is. So you're going to skip that chain and just go right into that double crochet with a double crochet. And it won't hurt it at all. It won't leave a really big gap. Just keep going with your double crochets and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at that section where that blue stitch marker is. And I put my double crochet into that stitch where the stitch marker is. You can remove that stitch marker. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain five. This part is different for everyone. So you can chain five and then do like a row of double crochets to make sure that it's fitting comfortably. So once I make my chain five, I'm now going to yarn over. Make sure that you are inserting your hook into the front, into the front of your stitch, not the back. And just go right into that first stitch with a double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to continue making my way around with those double crochets. And I'm going to meet you right before that chain. Just one double crochet going around. I'll be back. All right, so I am back at that chain five. And just like normal, you want to put one double crochet into each of those chains that you made. You should have five double crochets. When you get to your first double crochet of the row, you should have 60 double crochets going around. You started with 55, you added your chain five, and you should have 60 chains going all the way around. And once you've done your last stitch, you can go ahead and count. But I'm just gonna keep going in the round here. Make sure that you're not skipping any stitches. You should have 30 double crochets going around. You can mark that first stitch if you want to. That is completely up to you. But I'm gonna make a few rows and then once I make these few rows here, I will come back and we will do the other side. I think that's the right side. I'm coming back. Okay, so I'm back and I did an additional five rows for that. Now we're going to go to the other side of the project. And just like I did before, I'm gonna go into the first stitch with my double crochet. And don't go into those side stitches. Those side stitches do not count. So you want to put your hook into that first stitch of the other side. And go ahead and add your yarn. Once you've added your yarn in there, you're going to go ahead and chain two. And then just like you did on the other side, go ahead and make your double crochets. And then when you get to the other side, you're going to chain five again, but I'm going to make these double crochets and then I'm going to meet you on the other side to show you what to do from there. You actually don't chain five. That was a mistake on my part. I'm going to meet you there. I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm at the other side. Now you're going to ignore these stitches over here. Um, just skip right over them. Make sure when you make that last double crochet to chain five. I do not know why I didn't. No, no, don't chain five. I'm sorry. Go right in. Skip those stitches. Or you can slip stitch into those stitches if you want to. And just continue and make a five double crochets. The space that I'm going into is the bottom of the double crochets from the previous row when we began our crotch area. So this is like the first row of that row. You're right at the bottom of those stitches. So once you make your five double crochets, you just immediately go right over. Remember, you're going to skip those side stitches and go immediately into your next stitch. 
with a slip stitch. And I'm doing that just to make sure that everything, no, I'm sorry, I did not slip stitch. I didn't even say that. Go into the stitch, but do not slip stitch. Just go right in and make a double crochet. And doing it like that is just going to keep everything nice and close together. Let me try one more time. It's kind of difficult when you don't chain, but I did that on purpose. So now just keep going around with your double crochets. As many rows as you want to. You don't have to make them shorts either. You can make them pants if you want to. You just keep going around. And I'm going to meet you at the beginning again. Okay, and I am back. So I made the same round of rows that I did earlier. This is my crotch section. I made a boo-boo here. That is why there is a gap. Just make sure that you put five double crochets going all the way across. This is what the pattern looks like. I did not make it kind of high-waisted, so mine would fit differently than it did yours, or again, however long you want that is. But I am going to snip off these ends, weave these in, and my ends, and I'm going to show you what it looks like with me wearing it. And I will be back. There's all the detail that we put in there. I'll be back. Okay, so this is what your shorts should fit like. I did come kind of high up on the waist here, but again, that is an option. This is what it looks like on the back. I still have some strings sticking out back there, but excuse me. But this is what those shorts look like. It's really comfortable in the middle section. It fits really well. Again, you can make more of that mesh stitch if you want to. But that's what that looks like. You can fold down the top if you feel like it's too high. You can roll it down. But this is what she looks like. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Kantai Handmade Crochet. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.